All right, so this is a Bosler Ace camera, and it's not uh, connected right now, so I'm going to power it up. And in the Pylon software, just to double check, let's see which version. This is 5.0.12.11830. I believe that's the exact same version that you have. So, plug in the power into the camera. Notice that in the devices, there's nothing here and uh, the camera will show up in a moment. There we go. If it did not, then under Tools, IP, uh, Py Pylon IP Configurator, this is where you could see any camera that doesn't have the IP address set properly for the network card. So you either have to change the network card in Windows, the IP address of the network card, or change the IP address of the camera, and you can do that here. Um, but again, I'm, I'm not changing anything, so close that out. All right, so the camera selected, um, but it is not connected. And you can hit this open camera, or you can double click. I'm going to double click. That will allow the features to show up. And this one is called Scanner Cam Home. Um, in the user level, the default user level is beginner, and you can expand that and you'll see things. Um, probably the most important one for what you were describing is acquisition control. This is where you set the exposure time. So I'm going to take a live image from the camera. You can see um, I'm not seeing anything very, very well. I'm going to change the exposure time from 7 milliseconds to uh, 25 milliseconds. Still not that good. How about how about uh, 80 milliseconds? All right, there we go. Uh, that's pretty ugly. All right, but clearly the exposure has changed. <clears throat> Problem is that no matter what you do here, I'm going to go ahead and stop. Um, no matter what you do here. As soon as you disconnect power, um, da, 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 which I'll go ahead and physically disconnect. The not physically disconnect. I'm sorry. That was a Ethernet connection disconnect. Um, I can reconnect to that camera, and it will have saved. It will still be operating under the um, the exposure time that I just set. Um, but if you physically lose power and then reconnect, uh, I didn't wait for it to register that the camera was disconnected, so hang on a second. I'll wait for it to refresh. There we go. I'm going to go back to the analog acquisition control where the exposure is set, and it's back to 7 milliseconds. And here we'll look at, sure enough, we're back to 7 milliseconds. So that should be the description of the problem, is that the camera's not saving the settings. The way that you get the camera to save the settings is change the user level from beginner to guru and just going to give you an idea what that means um, as far as the settings go let's go back to beginner beginner settings you're somewhat limited and then guru settings you've got a whole bunch more and in particular the setting that you want so I'm going to go ahead and change this acquisition from 7 milliseconds to 90 milliseconds Let's get some images of just stuff. Okay. And now I'm going to scroll down in this feature list to configuration sets. I'm expanding the configuration sets. So user set one, user set save, execute. When you click execute, that will save whatever the current settings are to user set one. The default start set will be 
user set one. So when it disconnects, when it physically loses power and it boots up again, it will use whatever was saved in user set one. Um, and just to illustrate that, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. I'm waiting for the the camera to be recognized that it's gone. There we go. Plug it back in. And waiting, waiting, waiting. <clears throat> uh, still waiting. Come on, camera, show up. Any second now. Any second now. I'm sure there's a refresh here. Oh, well, never mind. Usually it's just a matter of waiting, like that. Okay. And there we go. It's still got the exposure setting it had before. And to illustrate that, I am going to scroll down to... Well, I was going to scroll down to Acquisition Control, but I missed it. There we go. Acquisition Control. And we've got 90 milliseconds. So one of the things that should be mentioned is that there are a lot of features in the um, feature list. So how do you find out what they do? Um, what you should do is select a feature, and I'm going to go back to exposure again, and then instead of looking at this um, this log, uh, click on feature documentation, and that's where you can see what each of the features is used for in the camera. You can see what data type it is. Um, and again, that's a matter of clicking on the feature. And then there's a short description and a link to help on that. Feature documentation as a tab down here at the bottom. Also, if you do not have these windows, that um, the way that you open them is you go to View and check the one that you want opened. Oh, feature properties, what's that do? Huh, I didn't know that was there. How about that? That's pretty cool. I've been, I've been doing this the whole time without that. I'm pretty sure this is the information that's packed into the XML file inside the camera itself. Let's double check, what does trigger selector give you? It's an enumeration. What does exposure time give you? Minimum, maximum. Huh. Well, learn something new every day. So that's how you can save the settings in the camera and get the camera to boot to those settings. Again, that is change the user level to guru scroll all the way down to the configuration sets and then execute a user set save and whichever default startup set is that's the one that will load on power up and hopefully that helps thanks <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.